In this video, I'll show you how you can easily vectorize a raster image in Photoshop. And in this video, I'll be using this image that has more than one color, so you can see how you can vectorize multiple colors in Photoshop. To begin, let's go to Window and open our libraries. And now let's just select the image we want to vectorize, then go to this little plus icon and select Extract from Image. You can ignore all these tabs, except for these shapes. I did, however, make a video on the color themes, which is how you can make a color palette from an image in Photoshop. So if you're interested in that video, I'll leave a link in the description. But back to shapes, we have a slider here for the detail. I'll increase my detail and then I'll also enable smooth on save. And then I will just save this to my CC libraries. And now with this window still open, I want to check invert and then also save this smiley face to my libraries. And now we can close this panel. I'll hide my image and then drag out my inverted smiley face first. This is going to be my background color. And then I will drag over my other smiley face and then hit OK. So let's select our inverted smiley face and then add a solid color. And I'll make this the yellow smiley face color. Hit OK and now holding Alt or Option on your keyboard, hover between the fill and the smiley face and click to create a clipping mask. So now we can just click on this color and we can change this color to anything that we want. Now let's go over to Illustrator and repeat this process. So in Illustrator, let's go up to our window and go back to our libraries. We have the exact same smiley faces. So again, let's drag out our bottom smiley face, click in the artboard and then just align that to the center and then drag out the other smiley face, click and align that to center. Let's go to our layers. Open up our layers and select the bottom smiley face and just change the color here. And as you see, when I zoom in, it's a nice sharp vector image. And that's how you can easily vectorize a raster image from Photoshop and bring it into Illustrator. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to not miss any more helpful tips like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.